The trailer for the Cuphead movie just dropped this morning, and boy is it full of references to the original game. Some are super obvious, like the devil shows up, but I'm not going to mention those ones. These are ones that I think are a little bit more subtle. If I missed any, please let me know in the comments below, but for now let's just dive right in. Number 1. This world map is a combination of aisles 1, 2, and 3. You can see the lake from aisle 2 here, the observatory from aisle 1, Elder T. Kettle's house near the bottom, the carnival from aisle 2, uh, and the city from aisle 3. So it's a nice little mishmash of the entire game. Number 2. The white liquid that Cuphead and Mugman are using to paint seems to be the same liquid that they use when they use Super 1. Number 3. Cuphead clearly loves gambling. Cuphead, I'm not so sure. You know what I do when I'm not so sure? I double down! Uh, this is a fact that basically causes the plot of the actual game, so it's some good foreshadowing for how he is later on. Number 4. So in the actual game, the first boss is three vegetables known as the Root Pack. The Root Pack are based on the Rat Pack in real life, which are a group of entertainers and musicians comprised of Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, Sammy Davis Jr., and several others. Uh, the fact that they're performing music and entertaining in the scene is a further callout to that. Number 5. These skeletons appear to be in the mausoleum bonus stages, but it's really... I, I'm not 100% sure about that. However, these eyeballs are absolutely from Funhouse Frazzle. I will never forget these eyeballs. They even squint the same way they do when they get hit in the game. Number 7. This is pretty minor, but that looks like a, a mini Chips Flanagan. He's built the same way, uh, except he's made of coins. So I think that's just a little minor callback to him. Number 8. If you listen closely, the music playing right now is from Guppy Legrand or The Root Pack. I love that little piece of music. Number 9. Cuphead's soul is sucked out of him by the machine, which is what happens in Cuphead when you die. Uh, when you parry it, it returns you to 1 HP, which is kind of what Mugman is doing right now. Number 10. You can see Cuphead rolling a pair of dice with King Dice, just like in the intro. Uh, him rolling poorly on these dice is why you have to go and beat up all these bosses in the first place. Number 11. Hey look, it's the Quadratus. It's the face in the lake, or well, in the game, that tells you how many times you died. Number 12. Another very minor thing, but that carnival booth absolutely has the baseballs that the penguin throw at you during the third phase of Carnival Kerfuffle. I have PTSD from those baseballs. Number 13. Pork Rind is holding a racing pamphlet with a horseshoe, which absolutely reminds me of Fear Lab, except he's not dead. Uh, this also goes to show that a lot of people on this island probably enjoy gambling, which sets up the wider story of Cuphead. Number 14. It's Grim Matchstick, obviously, but also Grim Jr. Uh, the heads are actually using the flamethrower attack from the final phase, except the heads don't actually transform. I've noticed that bosses don't really transform as much as they do in the game, and that's probably just to keep things clear in the trailer. Number 15. You can see Ribby hanging out with bugs here, which shows off more of the relationship from Clip Joint Calamity. Remember that there are flies everywhere there, and they also attack using flies. Number 16. You can see the devil's skeleton, just like in the final boss phase. Number 17. I know I just said that bosses don't transform that much, but here the devil is absolutely transforming. When you fight the devil in the actual game, he becomes a dragon, a spider, a goat, a whole bunch of things. So, so the devil transforming is, is a core part of his attacks. The fact that he became an octopus is interesting because he reminds me of the removed boss fight with the octopus or the squid in the early game trailers. Number 18. I feel like this is an egg from Wally Warbles. It's a similar design but different color. Uh, it might just be a minor callback. Number 19, there are, those are absolutely little Cagney Juniors on the side of the road. I mean, the, the colors match up exactly. Number 20, on the top left, that is 100% the Phantom Express ghost. But there are a couple of other ghosts that look similar. Uh, specifically, this old man ghost and this uh, guy with the top hat. They look similar to the ghosts in the mausoleum, although not exactly. Number 21, these tombstones are very similar to Guppy Legrand in Phase 3. Maybe all tombstones just look the same in this universe, I don't know. 
number 22. These brass instruments remind me of the tuba enemy from Funhouse Frazzle. Maybe they're cousins. I, it just really shows that anything can be alive in this universe. Number 23. The curtain coming down is very similar to the asbestos curtain that comes down during Dramatic Fanatic. And number 24. The Fat Demon from the Devil Third Phase. I love that Fat Demon. I guarantee you I didn't get every single one, but what did I miss? Let me know in the comments if you found something that I didn't. All in all, I think this looks great. I think it's really fun. It's, it's a children's show, so it, it's kind of kitty, but it has a lot of charm to it. I, I'm really excited for this. And with that, I'll see you next time.